All right, guys, welcome to this quick video. I'm going to go over dealing ranges and failure swings very quickly. So right here, we have the market on an uptrend, clear uptrend. And here we have a reversal. And, or, sorry, not a reversal, but a pullback. It could go back up because this is some liquidity that I want to be get, get grabbed on the daily time frame. But, all right, failure swings and dealing ranges. All right, so a failure swing is a high in this case or a low that doesn't break another low. So right here we have, we come below this, this close. So on the lower time frame, this is, is going grabbing liquidity and this will be important in a bit. So this grabs liquidity, pushes up. Right here, this higher low is a failure swing. So the market is going to try and grab this and maybe key off of this order block to go back up. Now we make a low uh, failure swing to break this high. So this is a higher low. We push down, push back up, we grab liquidity. Now we took out this failure swing that didn't take out this high. So this is all important because this forms our dealing range. Keep it like that so you guys can see. But I'll delete this. So this is a failure swing. So right here, that's that straight. We take out this failure swing. We do not take out this high. And we take out this. So actually, we'll just talk about this. So we take out this failure swing right here. And why are we taking out failure swings instead of regular? Because when you take out a failure swing, this is showing the market that that is like over grabbing liquidity because people who shorted right here, they're going to put their stops right above here. Or they're going to put it up here. So there's liquidity up here and here. So we take out the failure swing. And this helps for, for dealing ranges because look, we took out a low right here. Put this here, take out this low. This is our dealing range now. Measure half of that. Measure the fibs. And you'll get to like right over here. That's 50%. And so this basically, it takes out a low. But this high didn't take out any failure swings. So this didn't. So basically didn't take out a high. So this, until we get over here, this is the same high we're going to be using in the order block. So order block will be from here, or the fib, the fib will be from here to here. And this hit 50%, keyed off. It took out this failure swing. So this could be a sell right here. And it's it keyed off of this rejection block and this fib. Or this Sibby. So that's just a quick introduction of, of dealing ranges. So de just to reiterate, a failure swing is a higher low or a lower high. And market wants to come and take out these failure swings. So right here, this high didn't take out this high. So it's a failure swing. And then market comes, raids it, goes down. So now that this high take out took out this failure swing, this is the new high for the dealing range. So you won't use this high to this low for a FIB. You would use this high to this low because this low, it took out this failure, failure um, swing, took out this failure swing. So now this is your 50%. And look at that, you have a Sibby. You go to a lower time frame, like the one minute. And you don't need structure to break. You can enter off of a fair value gap. 
and enter into your positions right here. Nice little 2.5, 2 easy. King getting into this busy and taking out this failure swing. So just to reiterate real quickly, a failure swing is a lower high that doesn't take out any lows. So you see how there's no swing lows here. There's no swing lows in this per price range, except down here, which price comes and takes out. And I'll show you that price came and take it out. Look at this. Price comes and takes out this low. Price comes and takes out this. This is a failure swing right here. Price comes and takes it out. Takes out this because we're in the sell side of the curve. So right here, this is a failure swing because it doesn't take out this high, this low. And we are grabbing liquidity here. So this is already becoming a dealing range. So, so for a dealing range, you need a high to be broken and a low to be broken. So the high is broken right here. And then the low is broken right here because this is the low. And this is also a low that's broken. So you could even have a very, very small dealing range from here because it makes a swing candle. It's three, three candles swing, breaks it. And now it comes below. So this is your fib and actually respects it. OTE, like around up here, respects it, drop. So you can use this in all time frames, you know. So just again, right here, if you don't want to use this, wait for this. It doesn't even come to, to 50%. Or you could use here to here, but definitely doesn't come 50%. So Real quickly, again, just to reiterate, dealing range has to take out a high or it could take out a low and then a high. So this is, it takes out these lows right here, all three of these, boom, boom. This took out a high, enter around OTE. So you could have got the scalp up. And then for bearish, it just takes out this right here. So then this is a high. So now you're waiting for the low to get taken. Low gets taken here in this raid. This is the low. Boom, boom. And this is a failure swing. So I hope this was helpful and back test this because this shit works. Like, look at that execution. This is scalp. All right, guys. See you.